All my life I have grown up believing that all of the blood tier are good people. Good in nature and good in actions. My parents, aristocrats of the blood tier, taught me this. A member of the blood tier was kind, forgiving, and would not harm anyone. However, the Silver Fang were different. They were evil and murderers. They deserved to die. My parents told me to never trust them, and that the conflict between the two was all because of the murderous Silver Fang. They were like vampires and vampire slayers, destined to hate each other, and destined to destroy each other. There could be no harmony. So, we are meeting him today. <sighs> Don't remind me. I've been dreading this day for months. He has such a stupid name. Jaunty. What kind of name is that? A name mother and father want me to be married to. It's not fair. Why do I have to marry an idiot like that? Unfortunately, we all have to have these arranged marriages. I only hope I get someone better than you. Thanks. You make me feel so much better, Charette. Do you think that you would prefer to marry someone to the Silver Fang, who you'd loved, or continue on with your arranged marriage? Are you serious? <laughs> okay, Jonty might be a little bit of a spoiled brat, but at least he's not a murderer. The Silver Fang, they would pretend to love me just so they could kill me later. Did you not listen to anything our parents said? Yeah, you're right. That was a stupid question. I know you're not really interested in John T, but please, I know it's the first time you're meeting him, but can you at least show a little bit of interest? Oh, hey Mavis, aren't you lucky to be with me? Mavis, can you please just show some respect? You know that one day he, he will be your husband. He comes from a well-regarded family. Now you need to behave in the proper manner. Mavis, can you please stop rolling your eyes? The Fawn is one of the top families of the Blood Tear Clan. Now, I know that you're not ready for this engagement yet. But when the time comes for you to wear the ring, it will be a special time for you. such a little brat. He wouldn't even look at me. He couldn't stop playing that stupid game on his stupid phone. This whole arranged marriage thing is, is driving me nuts. But I love you and I just want to be with you. A maid? Really? Yes. I'm not gonna lie to you. Are you serious? You guys, Mum could see you.
Hello, Mother. Well, I've noticed you're not wearing your ring. You know, that's just not... Now is just not a good time. What do you mean? I'll see you later. Are you okay? Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Worry about yourself. We almost got caught. We are your sister. Yeah, I'm glad Sharetta's supportive. Um, meet me in my room five o'clock. Sure, I will. After Savannah died, I was banished from the blood tear. A tragic ending to our relationship that was full of happiness and love. Nothing like the abomination my parents described it as. Mavis, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. If you ever need my help, I'll give it to you. Thank you, Charette, but stay here where it's safe. I'll come and see you soon. So I realised it was all a lie. Everything my parents had taught me was wrong. The blood tear are bad people. Bad in nature and bad in actions. The members of the blood tear were not kind, forgiving and could harm everyone. They weren't different to the silver thing. They were evil and murderous. And they deserved to die just as much as the silver fang did. The blood tear are just like their enemies, murderous. Vampires may kill humans, but vampire slaves do just as much killing. Then I remembered Savannah and Charette, both part of the blood tear. Both so pure and like my murderous parents. Maybe. Everything my parents taught me was a lie. Everything. And maybe the Silver Fang aren't all murderers. Maybe they are the same. With murderers like my parents and good people like my sister. I'm certain they are. Because everything my parents told me is a lie.